The fact is that this game has been played before. The idea is to divide us. The idea is to continue to bring quarrels amongst each other in order for them to conquer. It's a simple game. It's happening in most countries that are not third world countries. Again, like beautiful Venezuela, one of the richest countries in Central America. Now look. Because again, this is a game. Rich people bad, poor are unfairly targeted. So then, the rich people, which normally the richest ones, want to take the moral high ground, want to go ahead and do virtual signaling, because they understand that the game is in numbers. It's a numbers game. There is more of us than there is of them. Problem is that the uninformed decide to buy the fact that the rich don't like the poor and that the poor amongst themselves don't like each other. You never see very wealthy black men arguing amongst each other about racism. Spanish men amongst each other arguing about racism when they got money. Racism is a right exclusive to the poor, exclusive to the uninformed, exclusive to the not very intelligent. That's a fact whether you like it or not. Racism is thrown around as a tool to be used against the uninformed, against the poor. Rich people don't go around calling each other racist, unless they do it for a particular purpose, because again, it's a numbers game. The game is in the masses. And this is why uh, the Democratic Party wants to continue to open the borders. They understand it's all a numbers game, and we're falling for it. If we don't do something different, we will lose. Uh, this game has been played before, has been won before by them, uh, but this is America. We don't, you know, we don't lose like that. So being that it's a numbers game, it's what scares them the most. If for one moment, one second, we decide to stop talking about racism and all that crap, most of you don't even believe it. You just don't want to take ownership on anything that is wrong in your life, so it's very easy to just point the finger at somebody else for whatever's happened to you. If we decided to just unite for once, you would see a big difference. You will see a big outcome. Things will get fixed quick. Division is their best weapon. It's the biggest weapon against us. It's just division. Racism is crazier now than it's ever been. I never heard in my life being talked so much about it. What is different now than it was before? There isn't that much different except those in power want to divide us in order to conquer us and they're doing a great job. It's up to us to say, forget these people. Let's unite, let's stop with this ignorant crap. Most of you, again, don't even believe it, okay? I'm a Hispanic. Um, I'm not saying I've never been prejudiced against, but I don't remember and I couldn't care less. I live in this fantastic nation, make good money, pay my taxes, employ plenty of people. My kids are all three in college, have a beautiful wife, beautiful home. You all can do the same thing. You can do the same thing if you just stop making excuses of whatever's happening in your life and try to victimize yourselves. I know for a fact they didn't care as much on racism until we started calling them racist. Again, Americans, aka white people, didn't care so much about where I was from or where you're from until we are trying to erase their history. The fact is that we are blaming them for things that they did not do. Why would they not be upset about that? Why would they not look at us funny? They're being prosecuted in every which way. My children are light-skinned. They're wrestlers. You got to hear the comments that are made in these tournaments about beating the white kid. Oh, wait till I get to that white kid. Didn't work out always so good for them, you know? But it's crazy the things that you hear out there. They didn't care so much about your religious beliefs until we started saying that there was wrong. Now we're getting pushed back, but we're calling them prejudice. We're calling them racist. Why would they not push back? They must push back. This is their land. We are migrating to it. You don't want to hear these things, but they are true and I will continue to speak truth. They didn't care where I was from until we started saying that they were thieves and killers of other people and that they don't belong to this land. Even though we came here, we migrated to their land and we're saying that this is not their land and that they're thieves and that they're crazy and that they're killers. 
listen, a country is a country because it's got parameters around it, meaning it got conquered by somebody at some point. It's a country, otherwise the world would just be some weird open land. Every country took over somebody from somebody, period. But because there is freedom of speech in America the Great, we use that against them to crap on their beliefs, to crap on their culture. They can say they like anything. They cannot be proud about anything because if they are, they're automatically called racist. Is that cool? Is it? They say that diversity is our strength, but is it? He says strength, but it's not this strength. Because in a family where nobody stands for anything, everybody believes in different things, there is no head of household, there is no structural belief, there's no core values, because everybody gets to chip in and bring in from their other places and what, well, we don't stand for anything. So no, I do not believe that diversity is our strength. It's just part of our strength. Of course, we love bringing talent. I came from a different land. I brought a net positive to this nation. I continue to do so through my children. But it's not the main strength. This country would have been great no matter what. That's why we're coming to it and continue to come to it. If it's so horrible, why don't you leave? Again, for those of you who say that racism here is rampant, travel a little. That is the easiest way for me to tell that you have not been anywhere. You, especially if you are black, especially if you are black, travel a little, travel in Central America, go to China, travel to the Middle East, and then come back and tell me that this country is horrible to you. Give it a shot. This is not either, by the way, about black people. Same thing with Spanish people, us. I hear comments of people saying, oh, Spanish people are terrible to each other and yada yada. Yeah, we are. Sure, we are. We are, you know, you have Dominicans that are not always lined up with Puerto Ricans, Puerto Ricans that don't, are not always lined up with Dominicans. You got the Colombians, everybody has an opinion. You have the Venezuelans, everybody has an opinion. Cubans. Listen, prejudice opinions is not a right reserved only to white people. It's not. But because white people, they are being pushed around, they're taking it because they think that they need to take the moral high ground on these things and letting you get away with it. In most countries, you will not get away with any of that. And you know it. I pray that you finally read a little, learn a little, and stop allowing the government to use you as pawns. There is more of us than there is of them. Very easily for us to become a unified force. I travel around a lot and I don't see it. Not only towards me, towards black people. I don't see it that much. Oh, I see though huge racism against white people. Why is this? Because white people have allowed it so. You will take it so easy. As a matter of fact, I go further. Most of the comments that I see in my channel that I don't understand racism, that I don't know what I'm talking about, rarely ever from any Hispanic or black person. It's mostly from virtual signaling, college educated, white people. Don't do this to yourself. Don't allow it. You're not doing anything wrong and you're not responsible for what's happened in the past. You're not. If that is the case, tell me one country that's free of guilt, from slavery to unaliving the natives of that particular land. Tell me one, there is none. Every country has taken over somebody, has done something, their ancestors have done something that has nothing to do with you. Stop owning it. I'm going to continue to make videos like this for those of you who feel like you can't voice yourselves very much because you'll be called names. I can't be called any names. I check all the boxes. I'm a Latino. I'm an immigrant. I'm dark skinned. You can't do nothing to me. You can't say nothing to me. I don't make excuses. What I am is a United States Marine that loves this country and is completely grateful for what this country has done for me and my family. We love this country and I thank you all for welcoming us to it. 
we've made a great living here. Uh, we pay in our taxes and we are definitely a net positive for this nation. I can't say the same for all of us who are here, but I can tell you this, those of us who are here legally, following the laws, wanting to make a life for ourselves, do not support anything that's happening with illegal immigration. We hate what is happening. And furthermore, we see what is happening because a lot of us come from countries where we see this whole thing played out. Divide from within, rich, bad, poor is being attacked. So the government comes and takes from the rich, gives to the people at the bottom like they believe in any of it, really. All they want to do is take the masses, divide the masses within ourselves, and they win. That's all. Why are we allowing that? That is crazy to me. That's all I have to say.